have another emergency light. This one is a slightly different design. I've already pulled this cover off. Here. So I've already pulled the stuff out from the inside. There's a circuit board. And these lights are already connected so I don't have to uh, put them together. Yeah, it's kind of dirty inside but it doesn't matter because I'm going to put it outside. And I'm going to fasten my LEDs to the little terminals. That's the plug. Now for this one I'm going to put eight LEDs on each side because I want a little more light outside than I would I had on my indoor one. And I'm not worried about uh, water getting in it. I'm going to solder most everything anyway. Eventually. I will solder them. Alright, let me twist my LEDs together. Alright, and got the pieces together. And since I can't remember which one's the anode and which one's the cathode, well, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about what anode and cathode even means. You see the long part inside and the short part inside? Okay, line up all the long parts on the left and all the short parts on the right. And then when you put the next one beside it, do it the same way. Then your whole string is plus to minus, plus to minus. And then when you put it on the battery, it'll only light up one direction. If you don't know which one's anode and cathode, it'll still work just the same. Now we've got to put these together. Okay, we've got our string together. So all the large on one side, all the small on the other. And by the way, we'll be hooking the large plate to the negative. Because that is the negative side. If we hook it up backwards, it will just block the voltage. And we will get no light. Now we got our first one in. And I do not have it soldered yet. I just have them stuck in there. And it's going to be a very tight fit to solder. I'll probably just have to take the uh, socket out and solder it straight to the wires. And I want to do another note on these uh, LEDs. You see one leg is shorter on those wires than the other. Well the short one is the negative. Also if you look close on the base there is a flat spot. You can probably see it as a light flicks off of the flat spot. That is also how you tell the negative. Okay now we got both sides in. Put the covers on and test it out. Take it down to the battery and test it out now. I've oh, got lots of lights going on. Let's see, it's hooked to my battery down here. So I have another set sitting there. And now I'll take it and put it outside. I'm coming out of my one on the inside. All of my connections are inside the box here, coming out and going out the wall. All my connections will be enclosed this way. And I only have to have one cable going back down to my battery. You can see the wire coming out of the top. Is that coming through the hole in the wall into the top. And you see the lights are not very bright, the sun shining directly on it. My shadow. What I want to do is put a photo cell right in this area so when the sun is shining it'll actually turn them back off and it doesn't have to run all day, it just runs all night. Then when I go 
get home late I can see where I'm going and when I get up early and go to work I can see where I'm going and now that it's dark outside I can see I can see pretty good out here camera can't see very good out here because it's quite dark for camera with that light I can see all right everybody have a great day or night maybe <laughs>